Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Alicia Lim. Health Director General Tan Sri Mohammad Ismail Merican says a 33-year-old pregnant woman has died of influenza AH1N1 in Johor, raising the death toll to 68. He said in a statement that the woman, who was 34 weeks pregnant, died on August 13 due to severe pneumonia and respiratory failure. Dr. Ismail Merican also says that 195 people were confirmed as being AH1N1 positive, 35 of whom were under intensive care at hospitals. 20 of the ICU cases have been classified as being in the risk category. At the same time, 188 people had been discharged from the hospitals nationwide. Dr. Ismail Merican also gave pointers on how to differentiate between normal flu and influenza AH1N1. He says a person suffering from influenza AH1N1 would have fever exceeding 38 degrees Celsius for 3 to 4 days, headache, severe body ache, sore throat and dry cough in the early stages, and feel excessively tired. While a person who has normal flu will rarely have fever or only fever of less than 38 degrees Celsius, have a running nose and will sneeze often. Transport Minister Datuk Sri Ong Tikiat on Thursday reiterated his stand to sue Kuala Dimensi Sendirian Berhad Chief Executive Officer Datuk Sri Tiong King Singh over the latter's claim that he had given him 10 million ringgit for MCA last year. Ong says he has decided to go ahead with suing Tiong to redeem his honour and counter the allegation. Demi untuk menebus maruah, untuk menangkis fitnah yang tidak terhingga yang tidak terhingga itu saya tetap akan bawa kes ni ke muka pengadilan di mahkamah seperti, seperti mana yang pernah saya janji saya sebut pasti saya akan buat he told reporters this after witnessing the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between Portman College Sendirian Berhad, representing City of Sunderland College United Kingdom and Technical Resource and Internship Network. Ong, who is also MCA president, says in the last one week, he had to face baseless accusations involving the alleged contribution. Natural Resources and Environment Minister Dr. Douglas Ungang Ungah Embas said the oil spill caused by the collision of a tanker and a bulk carrier in the Straits of Malacca two days ago is not serious. He says a team led by Negeri Sembilan Department of Environment has been formed to monitor the situation, assisted by the Marine Department, Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency and the state government. According to experts, the naphtha fuel carried by the tanker will vaporise after two hours of exposure to sunlight. The minister was commenting on the collision of tanker MT Formosa product bricked and bulk carrier Austin Day Max causing a 5km oil spill. The tanker laden with naphtha caught fire after the collision and 9 of its 25 crew are still missing. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Alicia Lim. Thanks for watching.